Hey everyone. Um, I am doing a quick unboxing today of some beautiful items from Color Rush Studio. Um, I was asked to be a guest designer this month and so I got my package uh, yesterday but I was out of the house and wasn't able to film um, and everything so that kind of stunk but I want to dig into this um, and all the beautiful goodies inside so I figured I'd do a quick unboxing with y'all and let you see everything that was sent to me and I love how these boxes open up but I'm gonna go ahead and take the boxes or the bags out and move the box aside so this is not this month's kit this is all extra beautiful beautiful things um so i'm gonna open that first actually um if you don't know color rush studios i'm gonna go ahead and link it down below um it's a smaller um woman owned company um and they're just starting out and um they're they're big on uh you know getting creative and using uh, lots of color and textures and kind of getting you outside of your box um, and everything like that. And their products, their, their products help with that, that's for sure. I really can't wait to start playing with these. Um, I'm gonna sit all those goodies aside. So they have um, a, a mixed media set called Bold and Basic 1 and 2, and I have them both. Um, so I have a bit of both. This side is uh, this pretty coloring here. And I'm sure you've probably seen it with some other people as well. But on the opposite side, it's blacks and whites. I love this because I have a thing with having, uh, I don't, even if it's just a black and white stripe or a little bit of black and white polka dot or something, I, I like that. I like to have it as a little breakup from everything else. So I love the fact that you know, one side, you've got these bright, beautiful colors. It looks like you did a bunch of mixed media and you didn't have to do anything, but it looks like you did a ton. And the whole paper pad is that way. Black and white on one side, beautiful, beautiful mixed media on another. I love these, what look like little stars to me. Gorgeous. And little hearts with the little uh, circles. It kind of looks like, reminds me of beads. I love this looks like uh, mixed media and everything and then little scrapey lines through it. It's gorgeous. The stars are adorable. I love this. Saw this and for some reason I really, really liked it and I have some ideas for it already. Love this. This is going to be a beautiful... Oh, hold on. I'm going to have troubles myself because that would be a great background, but I already have ideas for this. <laughs> we'll see what I do. This is gorgeous. I love this. I can see doing so many things with it. And then this, again, so many ideas already coming to mind. And all the texture that's on this is just gorgeous. And I know uh, Shannon, she's on uh, the Color Rush Studio Design Team. She did a beautiful layout with these and she cut them out. I'll probably cut them out too and do something a little different. But she did a beautiful layout with some of these papers as well recently. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. And this, oh, so soft, so pretty little stars. Oh, I love it. Let's see here. Oh, I like the handwriting. And then just the fade of the color in the center of everything. It's gorgeous. And then there's the arrows and this perfect for fall. I love this. Again, another one I saw and knew I had to do something with it. And then the cute little swirlies, swirlies uh, on the back. And there's one. And then this is the other one. Do I have it the wrong way? No. Okay. Um, I like the little splatters of the black and white. Well, the black on the white, I guess. Um, and it's got, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it looks like there's texture even behind on the white. So it's really awesome. There's texture here. Gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, see another, it's just amazing looking. I it does. It makes it look like you spent a lot of time doing mixed media and you didn't have to wait or see if your page was going to buckle or be impatient and smear it everywhere like I do. <laughs> it's just beautiful and ready for you. So, and then cool thing is if you do want to add mixed media, you can always do that too to the ones that already have it where it looks like it or the ones that don't, you can add mixed media too as well. So I love that. 
I love a purple. This is, this is gorgeous. I love it. I cannot wait to play with it. There, so many, so many. I love it. We have plaid, beautiful blue and gray. Love this as well. Made me think of fall. Um, I know a lot of people don't, but still the green made me think of fall. Oh, I have stuff that would go great with this for a layout. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, more beautiful colors. I love the combination of these colors. They're beautiful. This is just so sweet. It looks like just a little watercolor painting on the bottom. And in the background, it's a very, very light, uh, like crosshatch there across the entire page. So that's awesome. I love the just black and white stripe and then more, a little bit more plaid on the background um, with the blue. And then there's those beautiful paisleys. So both are just gorgeous. Um, definitely would say get them if you can, if they even have any more. Now they have, I love this. It's, they're called bits and pieces. Um, and these, let me get the package open. They're packaged really well, but these are, um, come on. You want to come see me. You really do. Okay. These are little clouds and they have their little sequence in them and they're so gorgeous and shiny and just the cutest they'll add great dimension to a layout they're i just love them and you get two of each color so that is awesome so there's those let's see here let me get those back in the package because i don't want to lose them and i am very good at losing things so um this one i am going to apologize now for um all the noise from opening and closing the packages um come here I'm only taking the two out. They're little fluffy clouds. Oops, I got something on it. Just a little piece of fuzz. Um, but they're little fluffy clouds, a light blue and a white. And you get two of those, or four of those, two of each color. Let's see. These, I love these. I saw these when I first opened the box. And they're strawberries. I love them. They're three different colors. So you get a red, red and then a more toned down color, oops, and a pink. Um, and I just think they are the cutest. And they've got like, um, I wanna say corduroy, it's not the same texture, but look at the little, I don't know if that'll work better, the little lines in it and everything, it's just adorable. So those, those are adorable. I cannot wait to use them. Let me see if I can get them back in the package. <laughs> These. Who doesn't like a rainbow? I mean, I love them. So, and I have two little girls that think rainbows are the coolest thing. They may not be extremely girly, but man, do they love rainbows. And so there's four different rainbows in here. The colors are bright, beautiful. I just think they're gorgeous. And they're, look, they have some dimension, but they're not so thick. They're not thicker than like uh, your thickers or anything like that. So they're not gonna add too much bulk to a layout either. Um, let's see. This one is fruit. And these are kind of like the, um, the little clouds. There's a strawberry and a watermelon, a watermelon slice and a pineapple. And they all are full of little stars. So if you turn it over, if you can hold on to it, not throw it like me, you can see all of what's inside of them on the back side. But I think they're just adorable. I have plenty of summer photos. And again, I've said it before, I'm not a seasonal scrapper. So it's not really gonna cause me a problem to go ahead and scrapbook some of my summer photos during some of the colder, windier, ucky months, like it is right now. So um, here are some cute little bows in different colors. You get, uh, there's whoop, two different pinks, um, a green, a little purple, and an orange. And they have cute little, they have texture on them. They're really cute. They have, uh, you can feel all the texture and everything. Again, not too thick, so that's great. Um, I think they thought about all of that when they started putting these together. They're unique um, embellishments that you can get for your scrapbooking, card making, anything like that. And 
they're not too thick. They're not going to bulk your stuff up too much, and it's not going to mess anything up. Um, here you get some hearts, and they all have different colors in it, and uh, they, it's, I just love these. I'm sorry. I love little shakers, and the fact that these are teeny tiny little clear heart shakers with stars inside of them, they're just adorable. So, um, and I have one more, I think they're, uh, of the bits and pieces, uh, to show you before I grab the frazzle and ribbon, but there's these little hearts too. These are different from the other ones. Um, they're more of a solid like the bows were. So you get four of those and they have, uh, two tone hearts. So there's the pink and the yellow, the yellow and the green, purple and pink and blue and pink. And they're smooth and they're just cute as can be. They'd be great tucked in or just as a main feature. They're just adorable. Let's see if I can get these back in here. And then I got the frazzles and ribbon. Oops. And these, automatic love. Do you know how many things you can do with these other than tying stuff? You know wrapping it around a piece of paper and tying it or sewing it to it. The fact that the edges can fray like this, if you, you can make them fray more if you just pull a couple little pieces off. I mean, they're gorgeous. I love that they, these ones are all black and white. They can go with so much. They're just beautiful. I cannot wait to pull those out and start using them. And then this set of thickers, um, it's, let's see, this one says stories. Um, and I do, these are two-toned, like each letter is two-toned. I don't know if you've seen these before in real life, but it's like, uh, it's like the bottom part has a different glaze on it than the top half. So they all have kind of a two-tone effect because of the glaze that is on them. So I think those are awesome as well. I keep that set to the side. And then this is the kit this is the sweater weather october kit so this is this month's kit and i'm gonna go ahead and move this color rush studio sweater weather that's thick too um so it's filled with the simple stories harvest market collection and seriously perfect time of the year. I love the warm colors. I love the fact that it can be used for fall um, and not just Halloween, but you can use it for Halloween, um, especially if you don't mind not going in traditional colors, which I don't. Um, so there's a ton of pieces that you can cut out. I'm a huge fan of labels. I like to layer things. You can cut all these out and layer them and add, tuck them into different places. Um, and then this is the opposite side where it's got all these cute little pumpkins in multiple different colors. Um, so there's those two, I guess I'll go, we'll see. There's those two. Um, and then there is this one where it's got the little flowers in different little designs. And then the opposite side is this here. Again, tons of little things that you can fussy cut out. I love that, those, I mean, I always find a way to fussy cut these out and use them. We do cinnamon buns a lot, um, so, and the hot cocoa can definitely, just constantly seeing little things that um, it can be used for. So, there's those. And then, this is so cute, I like this. I believe that was on one of the other ones, uh, for one of the other shapes. But there's uh, the pretty little pinky purple color and then a bunch of acorns in all different colors it's so stinking cute I love that I love the little acorns all right and then we have this beautiful orange plaid um, and then look at all of those you can cut them out you can I mean you can fussy cut just the shape or you can fussy cut the things that are inside, you know, of the shape as well. Some of the words or whatever. And you can make tons of embellishments that way. They are gorgeous. So there's those. And then let's see. Right here, I love these, the two t multiple tones of blue here um, as a plaid. And then pumpkins. 
I love pumpkins, gourds, whatever you want to call them. I know there's a bunch of them here. Again, perfect opportunity to fussy cut. So many pumpkins. I love them. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then this, the last piece. Um, that's what it was. I knew it was in here. Um, but again, totally can just cut these as, you know, the cards themselves, use them as layering. You could fussy cut the little bits out. I'll probably do a mix and match of both. Um, and then the other side of it is this gorgeous, gorgeous leaf set. They're so pretty. The colors are amazing. Um, so there's all the papers that you get. Then there's the frazzles and ribbons. And I love that she decided to call these frazzles and ribbons. Don't know why, but I think that they are just the cutest. And seriously, they all go so well. And the fall theme with them and the plaid, I just, I think it works fantastic. I love it. You get this, but it's like, it's so funny because this is so fuzzy. And then this, the rest of it uh, is like a uh, burlap woven in between. I love that. And then you get happy fall y'all. This is bits and pieces as well. If I can get it open there. Um, it's in a gorgeous orange. It's great with the collection. It says happy fall y'all. Again, not too thick. Works great for a title. Uh, even great for the cover of a mini album or something. If you're doing, you know, a fall album or anything. I love these. These are little cork pieces. And um, get that last pumpkin out there. Come here. This, uh, there's a pumpkin on this one and a leaf on that one. And this one says sweater weather. And it looks like a doormat to me. Um, and that may not be what it's supposed to be, It, but it also looks just like a little patch that was sewn on. But they're just so cute. I love them. I like the different textures um, when I'm scrapbooking. I think it's fun to be able to add those textures and have the little things to tuck in here and there. These, oh my gosh. I remember watching on you or on Instagram when she was packaging some of these things. And seriously, all I could do was think of how cute these little things are. Look at that pumpkin. Cute little leaf, the texture. It, that is so finely done. And then you get a pink one with its little yellow uh, lines in it. And then the little light blue or tealy colored with a little tiny purple. These are so stinking cute. They are just so adorable. I love them. And this right here, sunflowers, perfect with fall. And the stitching is beautiful around the center. Oh, I love that. I am going to have to find a place for that and quick. Um, and then you also get the Simple Stories foam stickers in Harvest Market as well. So you get all these beautiful little sayings, built-in titles, if that's what you want to use them for. Um, of course, there's little leaves, the little apple cider bottle, a pumpkin, uh, the sunflowers and more leaves. Again, great little titles as well. And with some of these, it just says sweater. I know that, um, you know, there's other parts that you can fill in for other stuff, but you can use, like mix and match these with other alphas and stuff and use them um, as part of a title and then use other alphas to finish off the title that you're making. So, um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. I was a little bit everywhere. I do apologize. I am excited to jump in and really uh, get to actually play with this kit now and the bold and basic collections over here. They're going to be so fun to play with. So um, make sure to come back and check out what I create with it. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to go check out Color Rush Studios. Um, again, I will go ahead and have them linked below so that you can go and check out this kit because I do believe there are a few left. And then you'll have to also make sure to check out the new kit for November. Um, the November uh, Color Club, the main kit is Old Saint Nick. And it's got a bunch of simple stories in it as well. It is so stinking cute. and. 
I, just you just go look at it. You're gonna have to go look at it. Um, but I'll go ahead and link it down below so that you guys can go ahead and just uh, click and head on over there. Um, thank you so much uh, for sticking around and watching this and come back to see what else I create. Bye.